Okay, I'm going to do a swing analysis here today of Anthony Kim. You know, he was an extremely talented player, had good athleticism. He had a good blend of power and finesse, also was a good shot maker. You know, I miss watching him play. He was very fun to watch, and he wasn't afraid to make birdies. He could make a lot of them in bunches, was an aggressive player. So one thing that he does with pretty much every shot is choke down. You'll notice here on the grip there. And then also over here, he said he grew up with longer clubs and he just got really used to that at a young age and just didn't feel comfortable changing. So he has a good hook on his right index finger here. He also plays with the interlock style grip. Doing a great job here, letting his arms hang in front of him while staying connected to his body. He's created a nice V here. See the posture of his body, he looks pretty relaxed on these shots where it looks like he's ready to go and can move freely. So by choking up, he's able to make the club shorter. That makes it more difficult for the club to get stuck underneath plane. So you can see here he bounces just a little to break the tension. Everything moves together with his upper body really well synced. You can see he's allowing the club face here just to kind of stay square, if not a little bit open. Okay, as the club's starting to set, you can see it's starting to set on a very similar line to its original start line. He's doing a good job of staying in his posture here. Legs or knees are staying flexed and very quiet. And if you watch his belt buckle, which he was famous for that too. Let's see if we can zoom in and see it. Yeah, but to always say AK. So if we watch his belt here as he's winding up, you see there's not a lot of wind up there, right? He's more turning his upper body against his lower body. He's arrived at the top. He's kept good lower body stability here, kept the knees still flexed a little and very quiet in their movement. The big famous AK belt buckle. If you watch that, you can see he's not getting a lot of coil from the hips. So he's just getting a small pivot there, turning more of his upper body against the lower, keeping things very simple in their movements. You can see here now that he's arrived at the top, very compact swing. Arm line running across the shoulder line, if not a little bit low. Right arm tucked in close. You know, there's not a lot of space there, as you can see from the right elbow to the right hip. He also has a nice stretch here from his left shoulder to his left hip here, where he's made a nice coil and full turn in his upper body. If you look at his wrist position, it's just maybe a little bit cupped. Face is hanging slightly open at this moment, but remember he predominantly played a cut shot. You know, from here you can see that he stays down on the shot. You also notice that going back, he kind of drops down the head a little bit. Stays in his posture line really well here. And then from here, this is about as good of a job as a person can do as far as everything being synced up on the way down. Keeping the left arm nice and tight, right arm close into the body, clubs falling on a nice plane here. Again, right arm staying in close, left arm staying tight with the stretch up the left side. He's just using his core to kind of unwind things here. Good athleticism into the ball. Everything is synced up beautifully here. And here he goes releasing through. So doing a pretty good job here, turning around his shoulder axis, staying down in the shot here. Again, very nice footwork in relationship to how he's uncoiling into the ball here. Or very subtle movements with the feet, but very effective. It's more of a full shot where you can see the release point is more in the 60s. You can see here this is more of a punch cut where the release point's more in the 80s here. All right, nice full finish, nice balance finish. You know, he was a good athlete. Great range of motion here through this swing. Knees kissing a little bit. Belt buckle all the way at the target. Great footwork here on the finish. Okay, that was Anthony Kim. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if I saw him play in a tour event again one day. I mean, he is that talented of a golfer, and I would love to see that happen. Hopefully you all can pick up some tips and techniques from his iron swing here because he had an absolutely amazing golf swing. All right, you all have a good day now. Thank you.